okay. the interactive intelligent metro public facility. Design strategies and satisfaction analysis based on user experience theory. Before I formally introduce my thesis, you can take a brief look at my abstract and keywords. My keywords include interactive intelligence system, technology acceptance model, structural equation modeling, data analysis, human computer interaction interface. My reporting order will consist of the following seven sections. First, introduction. Second, overview and research hypotheses. Third, research methodology. Fourth, data analysis and results. Fifth, discussion. Sixth, conclusion. Finally, references. Here we have labeled the abbreviated usage of all nouns. This includes Interactive Intelligent Metro Public Facilities, abbreviated as IIMPF. You can learn about all the abbreviations that appear in the paper here. Now that we're getting into the background, first, policy and technology background within the framework of the 14 five-year plan. Intelligent transportation stands out as a crucial focus particularly in the domain of interactive intelligent systems and technologies. Second, practical example background. Shenzhen Metro Line 20 has deployed intelligent systems across various domains, including trains, signals, power supply, communications, ticketing, passenger flow monitoring, operation scheduling, and equipment maintenance. This implementation achieves fully automatic driving and manned ticketing and manned checking and unattended operations, resulting in a 10% boost in operational efficiency and a 15% reduction in energy consumption. Costs, Trungene Metro Line 6 has incorporated an intelligence station integrated operation platform, environmental control system, and energy consumption measurement system, leading to intelligence station management and energy efficient operations resulting in a more than 20% reduction in energy costs. Guangzhou Metro Line 18 adopts intelligent features like face swipe station entry, passenger flow heat map observation, one key station switching, and intelligent lighting, fostering passengers' intelligent travel experiences and services and contributing to a remarkable 30% increase in passenger satisfaction. Based on the practice cases presented in the earlier chapters, we introduced the research case that is the focus of the examination in this thesis. It has received a high level of attention from the government. It is Shanghai's Interactive Smart Metro Public Facility. While existing research on Metro Public Facilities has yielded rich results, a significant gap remains in understanding the integration of interactive intelligence systems and technologies. Current research primarily focuses on facility usability, operation, and service. With insufficient attention to the in-depth impact mechanism of interactive intelligence systems on passenger satisfaction in metro public facilities. Based on the descriptions and analyses in the previous sections, three key questions have been formulated for the research theme. Our Q1, key factors influencing IIMPF through UX theory. Or two, impact of interactive intelligence systems on metro facilities and their effect on passenger status. Action saw our Q3, evaluation of the TAM with FEI, C, D, and E factors on SAW and IIMPF usage manifestations, and derived design strategies. Now, we begin to present our theoretical foundations and research hypotheses or theory. Our theoretical foundations include interactive intelligent metro public facilities, user experience theory, and extended technology acceptance model. The figure on the right shows the research model for this paper. We include seven research hypotheses. H1, phase significantly influences CE. H2, C significantly influences E. H3, E significantly influences E. H4, 
in significantly influences who? H5, B significantly influences Q. H6, Q significantly influences Pu. H7, Pu significantly influences Sa. Now, we begin to describe the research methodology of the thesis. We mainly used a scale approach for data analysis, and all scales were obtained from well-established literature. We collected 330 data samples through QQ, WeChat, and Xiaohongshu platforms and got 299 valid samples after deleting the low quality data samples, as you can see. The testing user group predominantly comprises individuals aged 18 to 30, with 46.5% holding a bachelor's degree. This study employed SPSS for reliability tests, descriptive statistics, normality tests, and correlation analysis. Correlation heat maps were generated on the Tutu Cloud Analytics website. Amos software was utilized for model fitness tests, convergent validity tests, combinatorial reliability tests, and discriminant validity tests. Structural equation modeling CD-SEM analyses were also conducted, as shown in the figure below. We have achieved a high level of confidence. Our model's fitness is excellent. As shown in the table, the convergent validity and combined reliability tests in this analysis were met. In the table of differential validity tests, it can be seen that both are met. The figure shows the diagram of the CFA model for the validated factor analysis. As can be seen in this table, the mean value of each variable in this normality test is between 4.68 and 5.97, which shows that the knowledge of the subjects about the topic of this research is in the middle. To upper left, the right graph and the right table show that the correlation coefficient are values of each variable are greater than zero and they are all positively correlated. The figure shows the results of this structural equation analysis. The fitness of this structural equation modeling is good. From the table on the right, we can see that all the research hypotheses are valid and the p-value for all the hypotheses is less Let's than go to the conclusion. We have just one minute left. Based on the above data analyses and results, we begin to think about the implications for our institute. The study establishes phase significant impact on CH1 beta equals 0 0.634, indicating that users' engagement with IIMPF encompassing factors like information access, data logging, program performance, privacy, and copyright protection directly influences content assessment. Additionally, FE significantly influences for H5 beta equals 0. 536, revealing that ease of information access and service robustness impact users' evaluations of IIMPF. His ability to significantly impacts to H6 beta equals 0 0.661, highlighting that IIMPF service ease profoundly influences evaluations of metro facility services. The study identifies functional issues suggesting enhancement through interactive services like AI robots or voice assistants to ensure information access reliability. Effective communication with facility operators is crucial for back-end support. Emphasizing Faye's role in the critical path of key, designers should prioritize simplicity for easy function access, with two holding the most significant path coefficient for user pool assessment. This understanding guides designers in optimizing IIMPF for EPI, enhancing interface friendliness, simplifying operations, and improving overall user solve. Okay, thank you. The study establishes CE significant yeah, impact the beta equals 0 0.579, indicating that content accessibility and quality during IIMPF use directly influence interface. Element evaluations. Issues like users struggling to locate exit gates reveal limitations in the navigation system. 
Balancing commercial interests and information delivery is crucial for managers. Suggesting optimization of billboards and app layouts by designers to enhance the UX. Okay, thank you. You can uh, stop the presentation now. Significant impact on IEH2 beta equals 0 0.579, indicating that content accessibility and quality during IIM PF use directly influence interface. Element evaluations. Issues like users struggling to locate exit gate reveal limitations in the navigation. Sir, shall we stop the presentation? And information delivery is crucial for managers. Suggesting optimization of billboards and app layouts by designers to enhance the UX. The study concludes that e Author, please uh, stop your presentation. You can okay. pause your presentation. Okay. Okay. It is the only presentation, so let him continue. Okay. Service incentives and the level of care. They're directly influence how users evaluate IMPF in terms of enhancing their experience and achieving their goals. Furthermore, who significantly affects SAW H7 beta equals 0 0.6 to 4. Emphasizing that the effectiveness of IIMPF services directly influences users' overall evaluation, particularly in enhancing travel experience and efficiency. Injecting cultural interest into public facility design has been found to alleviate the monotony of metro waiting times, enhancing the overall saw of metro public facilities. The successful integration of regional culture, storytelling, and animation design at Shanghai Disney Metro Station serves as an example. Designers should thoroughly explore regional culture and skillfully incorporate it into design. A crucial strategy for enhancing the UX additionally. Designers must consider vulnerable groups like the elderly and visually impaired, prioritizing their emotional experiences and incorporating feedback to ensure more inclusive IMPF service design. Mm -hmm. Based on the above discussion, we have refined the design <laughs> strategies first. Principle of decomplicated and simple. Second, principle of approachable. Third, principle of excellent. Fourth, principle of caring based on these four principles. We carried out a design practice and then a usability analysis using the design practice as an example. The design includes the exterior design of the IIMPF, the accompanying HMI. And a set of HM is for the WeChat app, according to the usability analysis chart. Scores for each dimension ranged from 4.86 to 5.53, indicating respondents were moderately to highly satisfied with the IIMPF service design solution. Usability analysis revealed that the design strategies effectively improved IMPF saw. Conclusion? The theoretical level constructs a model of saw influencing factors based on for UX dimensions and proposes for design principles. This provides theoretical support for scholars to explore IIMPF and intelligent transportation. In practice, the proposed strategies provide guidance for stakeholders such as metro companies, hardware suppliers, and software developers at the societal level. This study aligns with the 14th five-year plan. The study has the limitation that the questionnaire was distributed for too short a period of time, and the sample size and time of the survey can be increased in the future. This is all the literature cited in my paper for this conference. Thank you to all the experts and professors for listening. That's all for my presentation. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Here is